I'd like to describe an arthroscopic treatment option for cases where there's a massive rotator cuff tear that cannot be repaired. Normally, the rotator cuff attaches on the bone where you see the arrow here. In this case, the rotator cuff is pulled off of the bone and is severely retracted and cannot be pulled back to its normal insertion. As a result of this, the ball has migrated toward the top of the shoulder because the rotator cuff is not there to prevent that and now the ball is sitting outside of the normal socket. Traditionally what we would do is a reverse shoulder replacement which is a big operation. Now we have the ability to sew in a patch that will prevent the ball from coming out of the socket. This can be done all arthroscopically. Here's an example of a massive rotator cuff tear where you see the ball in the socket and there's nothing covering it. This is the rotator cuff but there's really no healthy tissue there that can be pulled back. So we're going to prepare a graft here and pass that into the joint arthroscopically and that's going to cover that area where the ball and socket was exposed and this will allow the patient to regain range of motion. Um, prior to my surgery on January the 15th of this year, <clears throat> I couldn't raise my arm above my head. I couldn't put my hand behind my head like this. If I did, I would have to take the other hand and move it down when I was relaxing and now after my surgery uh, I'm pain free. Okay. Hey, I was also very concerned about uh, getting back to work and as you can see I'm back at work full duty um, four months after my uh, surgery so I'm very grateful to be able to do that also.